Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. But who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Bruce Rivers, welcome to another episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts, um, where I am a board-certified criminal defense lawyer reacting to certain rap music and talking about the issues of the day. Um, first of all, I want to thank our subscribers. We've over over 250,000 subscribers. I um, want to encourage everybody to uh, log on to Instagram and follow us. Follow us on Twitter and Patreon. We've got a couple really good uh uh, hits on Patreon, and uh, we were going to get somebody out last week, um, and we're waiting for that name to come into us. We got a couple sources with the Freedom Fund and uh, with a couple bonding agencies uh, to get us a name for next week. So we'll give you an update when that occurs. So uh, I, I reacted to Who I Smoke by Young and Ace and those guys, which was a diss track, and um, I've had a lot of requests for. Uh, when I See You by Fulio. Now, I'm going to react to this, but th these diss tracks are, are really, you know, first of all, the art is pretty good um, in some of these things. But I make no mistake, I, I understand what a diss track is. I understand what it means to smoke a dead op. I understand what it means uh, to kill somebody. I mean, I've never killed anybody, but I don't, uh, like I said before, I'm a non smoker. But uh, these. Uh, Young men are killing each other, and they're bragging about it, and um, and it's really uh, shocking. And you know, we've seen some, and I'll talk about this a little later in, in this hour. But we've seen some recent developments when it comes to uh, what happens when you are completely disrespectful, and how these things escalate, and the collateral damage that can occur. So. Without any more proselytizing by me, uh, here is When I See You by Fulio. All right, first of all, we see it, it looks like a somber scene. We've got um, three people on a on a board like you would have like at a funeral, um, a little champagne, and it looks like he's right at their graveside. And so what we're, we're talking about Kenyatta, um, uh, Trevon uh, Bullard, and Royal Smith, and Jacoby Groover. And what this is really about is is a shooting that took place in Jacksonville. And this, uh, who, uh, when I see you, is a reaction to who I smoke. So, the three guys that are on the car uh, on the card behind him is a uh, you know they're the dead ops, and he's laying on top of them with roses and pretty disrespectful. So this is really it starts right off in the self snitching format um, which if, if they can link any of it up all they gotta do is play this and uh, it's powerful. But um, I just I where's this gonna end? You know, I mean, this is an answer and an answer, and so now do they have to go kill some more people? They have to slide up the twelve and blah blah blah. I mean, I just we we really need to take these young men aside, and if you're a uh, a mentor of any kind, um, I'd like to see these guys live. Cold. It's just cold. Four shot, three dead in the worst way. So 
See, it, it sounds so. It, it actually, I it, the guy's voice isn't bad. I and I, I actually kind of uh, think it, it sounds good. Um, and, it, and if you didn't know that um, these were ops, you'd swear he was, you know, say, singing something nice about his buddies that died. But no, these are ops, and he's completely disrespecting them. When I see you, when I, when I, when I, you always on my mind, you always on my mind. Now I'm helping with that iron, I don't see you. I don't see you. Get there like two, three, two. <laughs> Happy birthday. We made them boy cook up, call Keith, see me bitched up. Range graduation, man, that man had his chain clip. This, this one-upsmanship, this, uh, this gang warfare, you know, this... Uh, I'm going to do you, you do me, they, you know, going back and forth has just got to end. I mean, uh, there was recently in Chicago a guy who, who was pissing in the grave of a dead op and uh, with his daughter in the car. Um, he drives away. Somebody else saw it and uh, shoots him and his daughter up. He lived. His daughter's dead. So that's a collateral consequence of, uh, of gang violence. But boy, you been a bitch, and I slapped you in your shit. I made you pick up a stick, and I made you drop a disc. No telling in that. I mean, I, he's, this is, I mean, he's saying he, now keep in mind, this may be art, which I don't think it is, because these are really dead people that we're talking about here, and it's a total self snitch. Um, and all they, all they need is just a little bit to corroborate it, and, you know, and I don't know that they've caught anybody on these homicides. Case so many benefits. Don't wish jail on nobody. I swear they need to free that man so he can catch a headshot. Police had red I smoked so much, but I fell in love with dead ops. <laughs> Rolling. I smoked so much, I fell in love with dead ops. Um, just cold, cold. This is this is really an ultimate disrespect track. Take a nigga bite like I'm sure. I'm sure you better not get out of line. Rolling Michi in his wood, you know what that means, smoking up a backwood. And if you saw this earlier, whoever the guy was earlier holding that that sign, he's holding it up so you can't see him because he, he probably doesn't want to be known that he's in this disrespectful video for fear of retribution. And he's right there at the mausoleum. He's right there at their gravesite. The whole back street. Rollo died with his heat. <laughs> For speaking on BB. Rest of it. He, he's talking about for speaking on Big B. In other words, um, getting killed for just being disrespectful. It, it's, you know really need to let this shit go you know i'd like to see some peace you always on my mind always on my mind when i ride through the east side i want to see you see when i see you when i when i when i you always on my mind you always on my mind now i'm helping with that iron i don't see you i don't see you get there like two three two twenty three happy birthday yeah, and here he's about to pour champagne all over this. Happy birthday, twenty-three. Blow your counter. Yeah, he's pouring champagne all over the dead ops. Uh, complete disrespect. Oh. Damn, bitch. See, see, he's totally disrespecting them. He's got the Jordans, you know, in a wood box behind there. So that was uh, Fulio with When I See You. And, you know, I, I guess I, I look at it uh, from two perspectives. You look at it from just uh, a music perspective. It is a diss track, and it does exactly what a diss track is supposed to, and that is, um, you know, send a message to your ops. 
But it also is a sober reminder of of gang violence and how these. I mean, one of the guys that died in this shooting that they're talking about was 16 years old. 16 years old. You know, 16. You're supposed to be running around with your nose wet and and having fun. You know, not, you're not supposed to be uh, worried about your uh, next meal. You're not supposed to be worried about dying. Um, and I understand uh, it's a different world than you know just your average white suburban world or or suburban world wherever it is. Um, but you know, if you know somebody that is uh, a young kid who is in this gang world. And and you're an older guy, take him under your wing. You know, mentor him, build. Everybody should be building, building every day, building relationships, building education, building your financial future, just building for a better tomorrow. I mean, granted, that sounds like a, a proselytization, but you know, I, I I do give a shit about these uh, young men, and uh, I do give a shit about what happens to people. That's why I do what I do. I like to give people their lives back. So this has just been some of my thoughts on, uh, and it's, you know, granted, I'm not as jovial um, in this particular reaction because it is sobering. You know, I I did take a lot of the comments to heart um, when people said, do you realize that uh, when I smoke is actually about people dying? And yeah, I I knew that. But um I was trying to be lighthearted about it, and I don't feel lighthearted today, especially when I saw this uh, video because I hadn't seen this before today. And uh, you know, when you're sitting there singing about your dead ops, and one of them 16, and you know, one of them was the best friend and and maybe brother of uh, Young and Ace. You know, where does it end? So, if you could be a voice of peace in your little corner of the world, do it. If you can be uh, the change that keeps somebody out of trouble, do it. Contrary to popular belief, I don't like – I love second chances. I don't like um, repeat clients because if if somebody gets a second chance and then they become a client again of mine, it means they didn't use their second chance too well. So these are just a few thoughts I had. Um, Really appreciate the support, and uh, we've got some other videos coming out soon. So uh, this has been Bruce Rivers with Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Follow us on uh, Instagram, follow us on Twitter, and uh, help somebody get out of jail on Patreon, and we'll talk to you next time.